run from where we were earlier we're back at a spot that I was able to catch three fish on day one and just kind of hoping to see we just got here and so we're kind of you know looking around to see if we can find a, a particular spot on the spot where they want to be uh, but we're basically just fishing around at this moment obviously it's been a really slow morning for me, morning for me. I have not caught a, a scoreable bass yet but I'm actually I'm not all that uh, concerned about it. I, I feel like on um, day one, it took me a while to get on the board and then to really get moving, it took a while there too. So, um, plenty of fishing time. Just gonna kind of work and keep my head down. And, um, hopefully, I come across a big smaller. I really thought he was a better one than that, but good sign of getting a bite, so hopefully we're on to something here. Three, two, one, 
I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's see. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, gosh. <laughs> to quote my buddy Andy Montgomery, when I used to fish for fun, it used to be fun when I caught them. Now when I catch them in a tournament, it's just sheer relief. <laughs> oh. Three pounds, five ounces. Finally got on the board. It's 11:26, and we got our first scoreable bass. Let's get back in there. Day two of the FLW Title Championship started with totally different conditions than day one. Day one, we had bright sun and almost no clouds, little wind. Day two, we had a lot of clouds, wind, and it looked like it was gonna rain. One of the things that I've learned over the years of traveling up to the North Country is that smallmouth love the bright sun. It seems like they're a little bit more aggressive. They feel, I mean, they're such sight feeders. I feel like they will actually move toward a bait when you get it near them. And on those, overcast days or low light conditions, it seems like they tuck down and get tight at the bottom and it's harder to catch them. They just, you have to drag it slower, you have to present the bait right, and it definitely takes a, a little bit more patience. They don't, uh, they don't seem to want to react in the same way. Catching them off the graph vertically below the boat or even out in front of the boat with that forward shooting technology just was not happening on day two. I caught, or I had one on on a jerk bait, and it came off. Had one bump a swim bait, but he never took it. And then I caught that non-scorable. And then I caught the three five, and I thought, okay, here we go. It's getting ready to happen. Just never materialized on day two, unfortunately. Tried a lot of different areas, tried new areas, tried some different things, and it was like they just ghosted me. I've had a challenging history on the Great Lakes and I keep thinking I'm getting a little bit better and a little bit better at it but they got me again this time unfortunately. One of my best events ever was up there on the, around the Sturgeon Bay just south of that in Green Bay and I was hoping to have another great event in the title championship. Unfortunately did not make the knockout round and uh, you know I started the event out in eighth in my uh, group A bracket and then overall, I ended up in 34th out of 50 anglers who made the title championship. Still really happy to make the title championship, hoping that I could make that knockout round and make it into the championship round, but it just didn't work out this time. What I could have done differently, I probably could have fished a little bit deeper water or made some real long bomb casts. Maybe the fact that they were... Um, used to my presence from being there on day one. Maybe I needed to get a little bit further away from those smallmouth in order to catch them. And lastly, I could have tried maybe a Ned or, or a Tube. That's it for the title championship video series. 
Until next year, hopefully make that title championship all over again and give it another go. Thank you for watching my videos. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I appreciate all the comments and the kind words. And until next time, thanks for watching and good fishing. Thank you.